Side. Bandits come in now. Taylor McCarr drops it back. Shot. Save. Rebound. Back end. They score. And 39 seconds into this hockey game, it is Sean Chisholm who will get the goal on a rebound opportunity. Tisdale made the first stop, but it was Chisholm who banged home the rebound, and the Bandits get an early goal here and lead this one quickly by a score of one to nothing for Chisholm, his 18th goal of the season. And the Bandits have the early lead. Carson Welke dumps it up to the blue line. Now here's a break. A backhand shot, they score. And a breakaway pass for McIsaac. And he puts the deke on Tisdale and quickly. 56 seconds in, the Bandits are up two to nothing. Griffin Fraser races after it here on the right wing side. Chips it there for Carson Welke in the corner. Tried to center it. Now has it behind the net. Welke down to the corner. Centering pass. Shot. They score! I do believe that is Griffin Fraser who gets one back for the Kodiaks. On a lovely centering pass and a nifty three way passing play. Grandberg with the pass in front to Fraser in the slot. He beats Charlson. Carson Welke doing the tough work behind the net. And he'll get an assist as well on Griffin Fraser's 11th goal of the season. And less than two and a half minutes into this hockey game, we've got three goals. Buckle up, get set. We could be in for a wild one. And Justin Ross gave it away. Here's Grandberg. And it's off his stick into the corner. There's a penalty coming up. And who is it going against? It looks like it is going against the Bandits, perhaps, here. Let's see. Yes. So a 6.34 left in the opening period. The Bandits will get the first. Or the uh, Kodiaks will get the first power play. Trying to get a late one before the period ends. Kodiaks trying to fend them off. Here's McCarr. Tisdale knocked that away with his goal stick. And we've got a penalty coming up. Schoenfeld heading off for hooking. Left point, five seconds left. Here's the pass across. Now comes in front. There's a shot. Oh, they score. With one second left on the clock. And it's a power play goal for Jake Lee. And that's a tough one. 30th goal of the season for Lee on the power play, 1959. And the first period comes to a close. Kodiak's trailing 3-1. to one. The after-20 intermission report is next. This is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiak's Hockey on New Country, 98.1 FM, and online at newcountry981.com. And that's off of Wilcott stick to the corner. Brock after it. And eventually it comes down. And here's Eric Miller now. Miller through center. Still after the puck. After the bandit player is Bates. Now Miller steals it. Comes in front. Drop pass. Shot. Scores! Connor Brock with the goal. And the Kodiaks have cut the lead to one. It's 3-2. What work by Eric Miller to set that up. And eventually got the pass back to Brock, who puts it home. And for Connor Brock, goal number 13 on the season. And it's 3-2, Bandits. Round one will start March 1st, games one and two, and in Cannon Arena, March 1st and 2nd, they score.
Well, Jake Kustra, uh, seeing eye shot from the point that eludes Logan Wilcox, who I don't believe saw that at all. And so just uh, 39 seconds after the Kodiaks had made it 3-2, the Bandits come back and restore that two-goal lead again. And they'll make it 4-2. And Kustra, his uh, second goal for the Bandits, just his uh, fourth game with Brooks. Difference between Laskowski and Zimmer, both of them were open. Now Laskowski had his stick slashed out of his hand and broken. And in comes Randy Hernandez behind the Kodiak's net. Laskowski without his stick, and now a penalty is coming up. What an opportunity there. Miller had both Laskowski and Zimmer in the pass, just eluded them both, went right to the middle. Laskowski gets his stick slashed out of his hand, and Lane Brockoff ends up with a penalty out of this. Now Hernandez comes up with it and loses it, and here comes Carson Welke. He's hooked from behind. This is going to be a bandit penalty as Charleston collects it, and this is going to even things up here with 58 seconds left in the Kodiak's penalty. The Bandits draw one. And so we'll play four-on-four -four hockey here for 58 seconds, and then the Kodiaks will get a brief power play out of this one. The puck, Charleston out of the net, he'll play it away. Along the boards, Kincaid. Now, oh, two Bandits collide, and one of them is hurt. That's DeSico. Lost the puck, and here's Pap as he fell. And, oh, boy, there's all kinds of things going on here. And now a pass up ahead to Laskowski. He's got a breakaway. Here's Cody Laskowski walking into Charleston. Shoot, saved by Charleston. Keeps it in. Here's a pass across to Kincaid. Kincaid walks in. He shoots off a stick. Comes in front. Comes back. And Welke couldn't get a shot away. And back comes McCarr. He'll uh, hit Hernandez out of the penalty box of the break. Randy Hernandez goes in. Scores. Well, that was unfortunate. So many times in these last two games, it's been uh, so close at one end and then boom, back the other way. And there was another example of it. Bouncing puck, Kodiaks couldn't find it. And eventually it's knocked away and right to the man you don't want to have the puck, Randy Hernandez, who scores his 41st goal of the season. And the Bandits now lead this one 5-2. To steal it. Granberg after it. Now the puck in the corner. Played around. Oh, there's an elbow from a car. And now played out through center. We'll stop it behind the net there for Davis. 7.52 to go in the second period. Kodiak's trail 5-2. Here's a pass to Miller. That's intercepted. And a penalty coming up to the Kodiaks. And if it's what I think it is, that's uh, that's not good. Here. Here's Fip Waugh. I think they might be getting Eric Miller at center, and uh, I don't know what they would call it. While well, I'm going to watch now. Referee Matt Waugh says it is high sticking. They've outscored the Bandits 10 6 in the third period, so maybe they got him right where they want him until now. <laughs> Wide open at the side of the net, and that is a tap-in. And the Bandits with their second power play goal of the hockey game, and now they lead this one 6-2. to two. Centering pass, diving is Wilcott, and that stays out. And now here's Laskowski in the corner. He'll play it behind the net. The Kodiaks will look to start up here with 4.26 to go in this second period. There's a pass right wing side. Brought in. By Welke, shot by Miller, save, rebound. Brock dumps it in around behind the net, and we got it coming up. Slashing the call uh, against the Bandits. Car and away he comes. And now into, oh, they're going to call that a penalty, goodness gracious. Oh, and now a wrestling match in the corner. We might get more out of this. Brock off down on top of a Bandit. I think they were getting Eric Miller for a hook, I believe. And we'll see if anything more comes out of that. So 
So Miller will head off with five seconds left in the Kodiak's power play, and the Bandits about to go in their fourth power play of the afternoon. And, uh, ooh, this could be trouble. Well, get ready for a uh, five on three here for a minute and 55 seconds as both Brockoff and Miller have been called for penalties on the same play. Goodness. Here's the puck on the uh, near side boards. Krieger plays into the corner. Centering pass. There's a shot. They score. And the Bandits now make this 7-2 on the 5-on-3 power play. And now it'll still be a 5-on-4 power play. Wilcott out of the net. Played it behind the net. Hernandez stole it and he tried the wraparound. And Wilcott, I think, just got back in time to keep it out from 71. And now played up on the right wing side. And the Bandits will bring it out to center. There's a pass across. Becker stands up his man. They score. Now, Becker did not get enough of him, and Taylor McCarr went through him and beats Wilcott. And the Bandits have put a crumber on the board. They, board. they now lead it 8-2 as McCarr split through the defense. A shot. There's a right pad save by Wilcott. Now in front. Shot saved by Wilcott. Rebound comes to Zimmer. And he'll shoot it down the ice. Penalty coming up. Now who we got? Looks like a bandit, I guess. That is, uh, who is that? Braden Krieger is heading off. So with 49 seconds left in the uh, bandit power play, the Kodiaks will end up, no, they're both going. Okay, my bad. Bandits bring it in. Here's a pass across. Off a skate. Another pass. That's stopped. Rebound. They score. <laughs> TJ Hughes will get credit for this one. As the puck bouncing in front of the net and got a backhander over the shoulder of Wilcott. And that'll make it 9-2. And then they will uh, gear up for round one of the Alberta Junior Hockey League playoffs against the Canmore Eagles. Here's Laskowski. Right wing side, walks in, backhand shot, scores! Laskowski! with the bright spot in the afternoon to keep his goal streak going. Now up to 10 for Cody Laskowski. As he steals the puck, goes down the right wing side and puts a backhand by Charlson for his 37th goal of the season. And that puts him all alone in number five spot in terms of Goals in a regular season by a Kodiak. Down by Brockoff. The puck goes to the corner, and now we got a penalty. Tripping will be the call uh, against Carson Welt. Here's Phillips. He's hit hard there by Carson Welke. Now Phillips goes down, and that's going to be a penalty. You know, I was going to say that uh, the Bandits might get to 40 in this season series, and they just did. So there you go, see? 24 of those 40 power plays have come on this ice surface. It'll be the uh, eighth power play today for the Bandits, and it comes with a minute and four seconds left, and goes to Connor Brock, 
And now it looks like Phillips is getting a misconduct out of it. Shot saved by Wilcott. Rebound cleared away. Comes in front. Another shot. Scores. I think that is T.J. Hughes who gets his uh, second of the hockey game, his uh, 13th of the year on the power play, which goes four for eight today. And uh, nine for 24 in the series on home ice. And it comes with 22.5 seconds left. That'll do it. Ends 10-3 postgame show next. You're listening to Wild Rose Co-op Kodiak's Hockey on New Country, 98.1 FM and online at newcountry981.com.